Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's see our today's agenda. First, we will understand what is LLM. Then, we will look into how LLM works. And finally, we will see some applications of LLM. So, let's get started. First, what is LLM? LLM stands for Large Language Model. Basically, it is a type of AI that can generate human-like text and perform various NLP tasks like text summarization, translation, speech recognition, and many more. So, these are trained on massive amount of text data like books, articles, and conversations which allow them to learn pattern and relationship that exist in that language. This makes LLM capable of generating the text. So this all points will be more clearer to you when we look into the working of LLM. So let's dive into how does LLM work. For understanding how LLM works, we need to look into the transformer based LLM model architecture. So here is the architecture which consists of various sections that is input embeddings, positional embeddings, encoders, multi-head attention, feed forward, decoder and output layer. Let's understand this one by one. First, we have input embeddings. In this, the input text is tokenized into smaller units such as words and then each word or token is embedded into a continuous vector representation. For better understanding this concept, let's understand with this an example. Let's say how are you is the text given as the input. So this input will be separated as an individual token with an additional token that is start and end for knowing the start and end of the sentences. Then each word in the sentences will be represented with an index number by making use of a vocabulary where vocabulary is a place where all the words from the training data mapped with a unique index number. Basically, for small sentences, this index will be fine. But when it comes to large sentences, then this representation of index will be a problem. For that reason, we need to normalize the index between 0 to 1. This index representation is then represented in higher dimension vector which will be known as input embeddings or vector embeddings. Next, we have positional embeddings. Let's understand what is positional embeddings. Basically, a word in a different sentence might have different meaning and order. So, for that, positional embedding is required. For example, sun is hot and Arjun is hot like sun. Here, hot is having different meaning in both of the sentences. And also, the sentences which are inputted to the transformer are not have any positions with it. Meaning, let's say sun is hot is given as an input then Transformer don't have any idea which word will come after what. That is, hot his sun, is sun hot, etc. can also be possible but make not any sense. So, here the position of each word will be added with some positional vectors in the positional embeddings where the positional vector have some requirements to be calculated. That is, vector shouldn't be too large, each position should be unique, should be within a range. For doing this possible, we will be making use of 
trigonometric function that is sine and cos functions whose formula are as follows next we have encoders this is responsible for understanding and extracting relevant information from the input text encoder consists of two components that is multi head retention feed forward layer let's understand this one by one multi head attention before understanding this let's understand what is self attention it is the way of better understanding of the context of the words so here in this the word of the sentence is compared with the sentence itself to form an attention matrix which will tell the transformer that which words to pay attention to for example ram is going to school he will study here what does he in this sentence refers to as a human we know that here is represented to ram but for algorithm to understand this we will make use of concept called as self attention the output vectors which passes through the encoders will have more understanding than the input vectors in the similar way when multiple centers passes through the self attention component then that is known as to be multi head attention next we have feed forward layer this is the process of passing every vector input information forward through the network which can be digestible by the upcoming encoders or decoder block next let's understand what is decoder block decoder blocks receives the features extracted by the encoder blocks and use that extracted features to generate the output and in this we provide one input and generate one word at a time for example hello world is given as an input to the encoders then the encoder will extract relevant feature which is used by the decoder to generate an output decoders also contains few components that is masked multi head attention layer multi head attention layer and feed forward layer which is same as the encoders which we discussed previously so let's now understand what is masked multi head attention layer this is same as the multi head attention layer which we discussed previously in encoders the only difference in this is that instead of having the knowledge of all the input words it only have the understanding of the word prior to it meaning for example i am fine is the output embeddings given to the masked multi head attention layer so as in case of encoders attention layer this was represented like this as encoders have the rights to know both the previous and later words context but in case of masked attention layer the same matrix will be formed but only with the previous words like this because the next word needs to be predicted using the output layer next now let's understand what is output layer the output layer consists of two components in it that is linear and softmax layer where the job of linear layer is to work as a classifier where it will classify the classes based on the number of words to be classified let's suppose the number of words to be predicted are 100 then 100 classifiers are generated then these classified results are forwarded to the softmax layer whose work is to generate the probability of each word of each class and the probability will be between 0 to 1 so in this way llm works now 
next let's see some applications of llms first we have chatbot which is like the chat gpt then we have translation like google translator and finally we have email drafting like gmail so this is all about this video hope you got an basic idea of llm and its working kindly like share and subscribe to my channel for more content like this see you in my next video